And ain't you wild, bitches? <laughs> and we back with another one. And today, after popular demand, you know what I'm saying, we got Yeezus by Kanye West. Yes, I put a little poll, not poll, I guess, a little announcement on the community tab on my channel page. You can go there, you know, request an album there. Um, I'll be, it's just kind of like a checklist for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, like if I do, if I do end up reacting to an album that's under that page, I'll just like delete the comment knowing that, you know, I got to it, you know what I'm saying? I just put a poll up and I was like, all right, most like comment is the first one I'm going to do. So I was like, I need, I need shit to react to. So y'all laid me with like freaking 40 comments. So shout out to y'all. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for, you know, participating in that because that's crazy of y'all. So yeah, love it. Love to see it. First one they got the most likes. I'll do first. And guess what the first one was? Yeezus. It literally the top three was between Yeezus, Wu-Tang Forever, and Reasonable Drought, surprisingly. Out of all the all the ones, Reasonable Drought got like third, the third most likes. Crazy. Let's get right into this. You know, if you guys want to request more, go to that page and, you know, type your freaking, I don't know, life story. Like, literally, just give me a damn essay of every single album that I should do. Let's just get right into this. Yeezus, Kanye West. Um, we're going about, we just about to go dumb. This is a freaking experience. One of his po most polarizing albums. You either love it or you hate it. So uh, yeah, we this is this is uh, definitely going to be an experience. First track, Anisus is on site, aka we starting out with some McDonald's Sprite, y'all. We got we we starting out, we starting out with some McDonald's Sprite. All right, get your McDonald's Sprite out. Freaking battery acid type beat. <laughs> God damn. Let me show you right now for you give it up. God damn. Middle like literally he is drifting away from himself and turning to the narcissist known as Jesus. Ball, let's keep it bouncing. This is absolutely insane. Yeah, damn. <laughs> All right, get ready to freaking snap your necks with this one. Black skinhead, let's get it. Because I could go to his Yeezus tour. I wish I was there. God damn. I was like freaking 12. I didn't, I couldn't even comprehend like what this was. Crazy. Absolutely nuts. God, love this. All right. Next track we got is I Am a God featuring God himself. God himself came down from the heavenly gates and blessed. I need it. Pause. Huh? No, my service! Fuck! <laughs> We're all good now. <laughs> Fuck you, Verizon. Literally in 
ins insanity. This 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 shit is crazy. Absolutely insane. Anyways, anyways. All right, the next track we got is, to me, in my personal opinion, it's his best song, Kanye's best song, my favorite Kanye song, and yeah, let's just get right into it. New slaves, let's get it. Never mind, it's gonna work. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a freaking transformer about to fly out of the damn sky. My gosh, this track is just absolutely crazy. Like literally everything about it is insane. Oh my word, this gets me every single time. I hope y'all know this, like it gets me, like I'm just driving around, I'll just, I'll just be like, this is absolutely crazy. It's too hot in here, I need to turn up the air. Literally starting to sweat. That's crazy. All right, next track we got is "Hold My Liquor." Very influential track. I can tell you that this this track it influenced so many artists. Yeah, this is "Runaway Part 2. <laughs> Literally. Bitch, I'm back out my coma. haters out there that absolutely hate this album. I think this album is freaking immaculate. I haven't even got to the review part yet, but you know what? What is it like? I've heard this so many times, so just just listening to this again and again, it's just like, it literally blows my mind every single time. Alright, now we're on to the next track. In my personal opinion, this is the weakest track, but it's still great. So, yeah, let's get right into it. This track is not bad at all. I'm just saying, out of everything, if I had to rank it, this would be last. Man. See, he's experimental in the bed, too. That's why Kanye is the goat, right? He eats ass. I knew he eats ass as soon as I turned on this album. Yeah, damn. I just, I have to, and my face is just going to save this for the rest of the album, I swear to God. I'm telling you the outros and like the little interludes within the album, they're literally, they take you to a different dimension. Speaker swag Healy! Yeah. <sighs> Spitting. <laughs> Next track we got is Blood on the Leaves. Let's, let's, let's get it. So let's get on with it. God damn! I forgot this! <laughs> how can I how, how can I forget this? God Yeah damn I forgot how hard that came in, Loki. <laughs> You're trolling. Matt, Matt, how did you forget this? You're trolling, bro. <laughs> You're trolling. How how you forget about this, bro? This, this track is absolutely insane. I, I, I was just speechless because I'm like, I can't believe you forgot about this track. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> absolutely insane. I love this. All right, next track we got is Guilt Trip. Man, what I love about this album is like... Everything. Oh my gosh. So chaotic. <laughs> oh man. Say that about this whole album. <laughs> Obviously. Insane. This is like this is like realizing his flaws. So he's like converting back to himself, leaving the narcissistic way. This is crazy. Alright, get ready for the purge. We'll send it up. Let's get it. God damn. Wow. 
crazy. All right, final track, bound to. Come on, we, we, we know this, like, this is, we know this. <laughs> There you have it, Yeezus by Kanye West. Do I really have to explain? Like, I've heard this a million times, but it's like, it, it's always so great to listen to this again. This is a 10 out of 10 album. This is one of Kanye's best works. Um, I honestly, like, this, like I said, in Life of Pablo and Late Registration, I don't think you can go wrong with any of those three as Kanye's best, in my personal opinion. Those three albums are absolutely amazing. And Yeezus, the one that we're covering, obviously, amazing as well. So, like, yeah, production-wise, fantastic. Rapping-wise, I can see how people absolutely hate this project because of his rapping. But honestly, it builds the narrative of him being a freaking narcissist, of him just being a complete troll and just so unapologetic about everything. People say I give rappers passes, which Kanye is definitely one of them. Yeah, I do give him passes, but I don't care because it's freaking Kanye, first of all. Second of all, you know the mind state and the intention behind it. For example, what's a rapper that has terrible punchlines and just corny, and they're just corny or just cringy? Eminem, perfect example. Eminem throws out these corny punchlines, which you know they're corny, he knows they're corny, but they're like, you, people, I see people be like, well, he's trying to be funny. The jokes aren't funny and they're not landing. The jokes on here, the stuff that he's throwing out on here, it, it's hitting and it fits the narrative. While it isn't mindless, just buffoonery <laughs> going on with a guy like, you know, Eminem. Yes, I give passes, but yes, there's always a reason. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Kanye is freaking hilarious on this album. <laughs> but also, there's things on here, you know, though he is building the character of him being a complete narcissist and complete, like, dickhead, you know, there are elements like Guilt Trip and, you know, New Slaves where he is actually saying stuff that are relevant to the narrative, but then also things that are like, you know, picking out his flaws as a person and kind of keeping him grounded and level-headed. And that's, that's, that is basically bound in a sense, you know, that, that's what ultimately puts this alter ego of Yeezus to the side and he finally finds himself again, so to speak. It's not mindless blabbering for no reason. There's, there's actually a meaning to it, whether you, what, even though, you might not see that. Just listen to the freaking album and dig deep into it and you will actually know. This thing just proves how dense his discography is. And though, in the grand scheme of things, I know there's a lot of people who basically listen to only Kanye's discography and feel like they have opinion on hip hop. And they're like, e <laughs> even though they have listened to nothing else but Kanye, his discography either way is still great. This album is phenomenal. I don't have anything else to say about this. Literally, it's top three Kanye, and the, I won't be mad if someone has this as their best. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hope you all are having a great day. It's been crazy in Michigan. It's been raining nonstop. Actually, one of the f I picked a good hour to listen to this because it's not raining that much. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. 
Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon for the notifications, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.